Welcome back to an episode of We Are Again, uh, somewhere in the wilderness, and we're going further north, actually. Something comes closer and goes away. Ah, Rex, the stray dog. But we're not talking to Rex, no. Uh, the idea is actually to go a little bit further north, then further south, so that we can enter this uh, desert area down here to get this um, video spirit, valuables and whatnot. For some reason, Garrick's valuables are still there, marked, even if we pick them up, though. Weird. So let's talk to Victor. It's true what the old miss told me. Victor, she said, you can't gamble forever. It's only a matter of time before your luck runs out. Bless her heart. Hmm. Interesting. Inform Victor you found his coffin. Nice plan. <laughs> so you figured me out, did you? Was so proud of it, too. Even had the next heist lined up. Looks like my thieving days are done, damn it. Tell you what, you were clever enough to figure me out. See that spot on your map? Might as well reap what I couldn't, you know? If you're the gambling type. Alright, uh, how did his luck actually dry up? Ingenious scheme, I thought. Come to think of it, still do. He chuckles a ghostly chuckle. <laughs> I think I'll take this one to the grave with me, or... Wait, <laughs> you know what I mean. Hmm, a secret unlocked. Still don't know what, which one. Uh, what is it this? The rock coffin cache. Uh, that could be the one. Maybe it's further north. What is this? Halla. Nope. That's an unusual the skeleton. skeleton. Is old enough for flies to have eaten its flesh, though some of its owner's clothing still remains intact, including a belt with a gleaming buckle. Hmm. Let's examine everything. The look properly intact. Though its skull is askew, as if the skeleton is looking in a direction it shouldn't be able to. Hmm, what about the belt? The belt may have been gnawed by rodents and reptiles, but the name engraved on its buckle is unmistakable. Victor. Hmm, hmm. You see no blood or signs of struggle. The surrounding vegetation is green and healthy. Well, here's one corpse that never got a proper burial. Hmm, so, uh... Do we pick this one up now, or what? Now nah, we can only use it and attack it, and uh, that's it. Maybe this is a hint for you to use the spirit vision thing. Uh, but we have this one active anyway. Let's talk to Doggo. The dog keeps his distance, wary eyes sizing you up as his hackles rise. Hmm. You run away. Everyone here run away. All run. All run. Something. Okay, tell the little dog that you'll run away too, kind of. Uh, say that you don't run away from anything. You run towards things. Like sticks. Bulls? Understand. I understand. I run away from bad man. Very bad man. Man wanted to make me spider food. I know. I can sniff good and bad. Riker bad. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, Riker's the spider man. Ask about this Riker. He sounds like someone to steer clear of. Yeah. And I met this dude. Bad man. So bad. I liked his house. Big garden of stones. Lots and lots of bones to dig. Good tasty bones. But when I sniffed him, how he is for true, I ran and ran and ran. Hmm. Ask him to sniff you. Do you smell good or bad? He pours a few tentative steps closer and sniffs all around you, nose wrinkling with concentration. Some bad. Most good. Good enough. Good enough. He bounds forwards and licks your face effusively. His breath stinks of graveyard clay and ancient bones. Immediately, you feel an allergic reaction developing on your cheek, hot red blotches spreading in an angry rash. The dog scurries away to sniff about the area, leaving you with his approval and an itchy face. Disgusting. Now we've got ourselves the pest. Perfect. The pest that doesn't go away. Run, run, run away! Right. Um... How do I get... Uh, rid of disease uh, affliction. I think I could bless myself. I mean, it's nice, but uh, okay, that could work. Come on, please do. Yes, awesome. Can we, uh, yeah, just move across a broken bridge like that? Because Looks like this place has seen better days. Much better days. yeah. From the looks of that, wait a minute, could we maybe go, uh... Ha! Huh. Look at that, there's something strange up here. Very, very strange. There's another platform over there, I do Ooh. 
something is lodging fire. Or is that? Definitely something, uh... There. Is it this one? Elder of Passing. Yeah. There's some fire stuff happening here, but I do not know where that is. Good. What can I do for you? No, 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 no. Uh, not now. I... I'm gonna do something different. Uh, let's teleport. I think it was the beast, wasn't it? Yeah, that could work. Let's get a wee bit closer to it. Alright, can it go this way? No. Uh, and we are teleporting... It doesn't really get any better, does it? Uh... But I can just move the the the, uh, the pyramids around, so I'm actually good. Yeah, let's teleport ourselves. That should do it. Oh yeah. Damage reflection is definitely not a good idea uh, when you use teleportation too much. Oh look at this, a grass ring. And the charm scroll. Nice. Some teddy bear. Oh, one on nature. Scales with intelligence. Look at that. Good. Pretty neat, pretty neat, pretty neat. Uh, now the teleporter has to work. And who needs to be teleported to what now? Uh, we need to teleport towards the Red Prince. Yes. Uh, so let's move this pyramid in there. I'm going to teleport myself to Red. And... Uh, this one goes to back to the beast, and the beast is going to. This one has to have a different position, actually. There we go. And the beast is going to teleport itself towards me again. Good. Like everybody needs at least one of those pyramids, <laughs> and then you don't have to uh, mix and match until it works. It's a wee bit of a hassle, though. Wait a minute. Uh, this way. There we go. I <laughs> uh, don't like when the order changes too much. So, oh, look at that. Charm scroll. That's the first time I actually seen this charm scroll. Look at that. And charm goes up here. Target non allied character. Causing them to join your side. Combat for the duration of the status. Two turns. The ring, again, can be sold, but it's a grass ring. Maybe a special one. Who knows? Razorback ship. Wait, why don't I have that? Ah! Now I get it. I got the disease thing that reduced my constitution. And uh, I need 11 constitution in order to carry that. That's why. Okay. But how does this uh, fire wand actually work? Let's see. It does 3 to 4 damage. It scales with intelligence and now it does how much damage? Still the same amount of damage though. Um... It's like 7 to 8. Now it's much more. <laughs> 40. Uh, it says it's a nature stuff though, but come on. Let's move this to the beasts. And a teddy bear. That's something that we can sell again. Right. Now then. Wanted to explore whatever uh, this house is. Or was. Supply kit. Oh. Pouch used for holding small trinkets, coins, and herbs. 1,500. Wow. Doesn't even weigh that. Okay, that's Hanek's ring. That is the reason why. Earthquake. Awesome. I think I'm going to use that one. Um. Hmm. Yeah, looks like I'm going to sacrifice Earth Resistant to it. Uh, this one here. I got Earthquake. Awesome, but I have no slot for Earthquake. So many spells. Mm, that's definitely too much. Let's throw this out. Um, move this over here. And... Get the earthquake going. Where is it? There we go. Done. Uh, cannot forget that. Oh, come on. 
It's not about forgetting the spell. It's about using the spell. So, how much damage does it do? 117. Decent. Creates 8 random oil surfaces. Sweetie. Uh, let's just try this out. Whoa. Love it. Right. Let's just reload. Don't want to accidentally, uh, like, damage things also. Need to be very careful. Hmm. Righty. Uh, it still goes on a little bit. Maybe there's a secret. Or not, down here. But something happened. Look at this. There's, like... Is this water, or what happened? Maybe there was a bridge, uh, or something else, but somehow... Looks as if the whole surface just collapsed. Because there was a bridge here before. And a house, and everything. And now it is not... Weird. Wait a minute, don't we know this dude? Gareth! Gareth toils in monotony. Hmm. Does he have any good items now? <laughs> Everything is full of warfare and geo. Right. Uh huh. The hungry flower, yes, but I don't wanna consume that. Well I could just learn the earthquake thing for myself though. So I don't have to depend on the rings. Poison dark got Yeah, poison waves, cool. Ah, uh, come on. AOE, reactive armor. Deal damage based on your current physical armor in a wave of metal spikes to everyone in the area, including yourself. Oh. Ooh, that's not good. Mm. It says it's just deal damage based on my current uh, physical armor. I can have like a thousand armor. So once this happens, then... But the problem is uh, getting that much armor first. Okay, it doesn't seem to have any more interesting spells in here. What's that? Jump from one target to another, hitting up to two targets, stealing damage uh, to each target. Targets are chosen randomly in a 10 meter radius, so as long as you are somewhat close by, you're good. Deflective barrier. Hmm. Requires a shield. Uh, projectors are reflected back to the caster. Doesn't prevent original projectile effects. Okay. Inflicts poison on contact. Really funny interaction. Really funny one. So, now we're at 20,000. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Uh, the whole blitz attack thing sounds like a lot of fun. Because then we can just jump from one uh, damage character to the next. Now the question is just who will be the one that uh, uses that skill? Because I do not know. Wait, this is not the right one. But this is Poison Wave and I have to learn that too. Mm. But then again, yeah, whatever. Uh, oh, I have to even this out. Right. Uh, does he have open slots? Absolutely. Nice. Uh, let's move this thing about a little bit. And this thing goes around here. This thing goes around here. Poison is not really necessary. I mean, it's nice to have. Right. Actually, this is a damaging spell, and a damaging spell should be bit more top heavy there we go nice safe so back together yeah not to the mind of dirt uh, what's going on um ask if he's all right it's like da, 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 da. motion to the graves is he putting someone down or dig someone up uh let's wait to the rim of his digging down. yeah let's go with them perfect gareth freezes then turns slowly towards you his breaths are steady his voice a monotone i'll have to insist you show some respect god woken I'm putting my murdered parents to, to rest. Mm-hmm. And I'm supposed to know that now, am I? Gareth moves to continue his task, but his cadence falters. He pauses. Silence hangs, begging to be broken. Hmm. Apologies, you had no idea. Well, 
We don't need to apologize. Tell him to keep steady. He's no stranger to death after all. Hmm. Do we need to apologize or do we not? I don't like to apologize because of stuff like this, right? People get it far, far too often uh, stuff in the wrong name, really. Just because they got it wrong doesn't mean that we uh, have to make their wrong right, right? Uh, it's weird. Hmm, tell him to keep steady. He's no stranger to death after all. He nods. At least you think he nods. His head moves so slowly, so subtly, that you can't be sure. You speak truth. I've seen Seeker's blood seeping into the sand. I waded through corpses on the deck of the Lady Vengeance. But when the lifeless eyes looking back at you are your own mother's, I just didn't know. I didn't know what darkness lied beyond pain. Now, well, now I do. Hmm. Wonder who could have done that, yeah. Dallas's pets. Such helpful tools they are, too. The abominations do the dirty work and the whites keep their robes clean. Convenient. Hmm. They're still there, spreading their rancid smell through the house. Paladins came to clean up the mess. In the name of Lucian, they say, and they seem to believe it. Gareth shies away from you. His eyes pass over the half-filled graves, and he takes a shuddering breath. I'm... I'm the one who's prayed. An endless litany. How many pleas does it take? How many tears do I have to shed? How much must I lose for the gods to listen? And what is it that the gods need to do for you to be happy, hmm? Gareth forcefully exhales and looks past you to the nearby house. You fear he might snap the shovel's handle in two. Hmm. Press for details. You mentioned paddledin, paddledins, because they have paddles in their hand. Say that Lucian might be gone, but you are still here for him. The seekers, too. Yes. Mirror's anger. It's time for revenge. No. Human. Tell him his rage is understandable, but he needs to get control of himself. It's not the control, really. Uh, the anger is okay, but because if you have control of it, it's more like restraining yourself, like a dog on a leash, but you're not a dog on a leash. You need to see this as an emotion and uh, accept that emotion and then that's it. So, Misty, uh, the spirits are troubled. Tell him to think carefully about his next step. Ah. Well, we go with number two. That seems to be the more I interesting one. For empty platitudes, not from a walking skeleton chosen as the seven's divine pet. Oh, someone gets angry now. You swear you hear Gareth's pulse galloping faster than a saddled mount. You've never heard such a thing before, but you suspect Gareth's heart is close to tearing. If you want to help, then you find the craven white that ordered their slaughter. Anyone that stands between you and truth, no matter the flag they fly or creed they follow, make them bleed. Someone's getting really angry. Hmm, do I want to go for memory persuasion? I don't know. Chin Lucian's words. Fool acts on rage. The wise calm their fury. You must not act on his impulse. That is some wise decision there. Shake your head. Is this what his parents would want? Absolutely, we are going for intelligence persuasion. Bam. <laughs> His clenched jaw tightens further, and then, in an instant, Gareth's guard is broken. Tears well in his eyes. With every blink, a pearl of grief falls to his cheeks. My parents, they did nothing to deserve this. They were good. Honest. More honest than me. I'd give my own life to bring them back. I never... I never got that last chance to tell them I love them. I never got to say goodbye. You're right. There's nothing more to be done here. Lucian, forgive me. And please, God Woken, please forgive me too. Mm. Now that he gets his emotion in check, he can go back to being a commander. Uh, because you do not need an emotional, unstable commander. Wait a minute. Is there... There's nothing around here. Good. Uh, let's see what we can dig up here. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do -de -do -de -do. Hey, Lynn Price. 
What do we got here? Gerus last letter to his mother. Oh. Is there a way to like put them back down here? The pride of price. Woo! Nice. Thievery! Look at that. Uh sadly it's a finesse weapon. I uh, can backstep and whatnot. It's definitely a good thingy. Pretty, pretty cool. So why is it that the prices have thievery weapons? That's kind of weird. So let's read this up. Mama, it's hard to be stationed so far from you and Papa, but I have to believe I'm doing the right thing to protect us all. I wanted to write you to make sure you stand safe. Don't trust any Bagisters that call by paladins should be safe enough. All my love, uh, your son Gareth. Uh huh. Interesting. Uh, does he want this letter back or not? So, it's interesting that the father had the dagger, uh, and the mother had the letter. <laughs> uh, not the other way around. So, where is this dagger when you need it? Didn't I just pick this up with this person? Where did it go? Weapons. Weapons, weapons, weapons. Where's the bloody dagger when you need it? Oh, did I? No? Oh, I clicked on X. Right. Uh, how much finesse does he have? Nothing. Um... Yeah, I need to... Looks like I need to put some finesse on this, dude. Okay, where do I get finesse now? Wasn't there a finesse amulet that I could utilize? Yes. I could use a finesse amulet, but this one only gets me one point of finesse. Nothing more. What else we got? Um, Yeah, that's a... Uh, Thithery, thithery, yada yada yada. Uh, it's a good thing. That's a finesse thingy. And I need another item that gives me finesse. Yeah, might be a bit more difficult to find one. By the looks of it. Yup. Definitely. Ready. Um. Let's see, do we have any nice um, spell recipes, grimoire and whatnot? Uh, bleed fire, nope. I'm looking for a skill book, not a scroll. Scroll, 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 No skill books. Okay. Oh wait, there's another one. Uh, there was another one. There were two, right there, this one, Erratic Wisp. That's a weird one though, but uh, we're not gonna use that. So, um, let's, uh, did Gareth just disappear or what happened to this guy? Jonathan's gloves, finesse, again. <sighs> okay, I do find a lot of finesse uh, gloves and whatnot. This is just getting ridiculous. Let's pick those things up before we go anywhere else, really. Oh, we got a hole. Nice. Ooh. With decent uh, gold value, even. Look at that. And let's let this guy pick up the hoe because of the weight. Do we need this one or do we just sell it, though? Questions upon questions upon questions. What is this? Jonathan's. No, wait. Fade picked it up? I was not intended. Oh, what am I going to do with this? Jonathan's gloves. Let's move them to the Red Prince because they are going to be sold in the future. Um, this stuff is more... Yeah, that stays in my inventory for now. Right. Creature? What? Besides, oh, we got a lock. And a pitchfork. Like Get you that together, man. Where am I gonna put the keys? There. Ah, William and Jod or Jihad. The two paladins Gareth mentioned Whoa. are arguing in front of the door to the modest farmstead. As they notice your arrival, they stop talking and look at you quizzically. It's actually kind of strange if the house is shifted sideways. Like it's so weird. Um, let's see. We can actually trade. Nice. Oh, we got some buckets. Buckets are good, but I don't want to pay for the buckets. I can just pick uh, them up. Is there really nothing to be sold here? 
Yeah. Even this out. Accept it. And we got it. Um, I'll see what's going on. We're guarding this house. Wise to stay well back. There's a bunch of silent monks inside who've tasted blood today. Already killed in there, so they did. Mm -hmm. They didn't kill anybody. The magisters who controlled them did. You know Donna, she wouldn't hurt a fly. Not until they turned her. But they did turn her. And now she's not Donna anymore. Get it through your head. The poor creature should be put down. No, wait. Surely, maybe, maybe someday they can be fixed. When all this source nonsense is over. Hmm. That is a very interesting way of looking at it. But the problem is uh, how long until that day comes. The other paladin rolls his eyes and shakes his head as he turns to face you. In any event, it's our business, not yours. You just stay well away from the door and you'll be perfectly safe. Well, um, hmm. I can actually take care of those monks. You can't do that. These, they were people who were loved. It's not right to butcher them like cattle. Yeah, it definitely isn't. But when they are somewhat out of control, it's definitely a different situation. <sighs> we got ourselves in a moral dilemma. Uh, tell him to think about it. Uh, what would Donna wish for? Oh, come no. This argument is always mean, right? Because uh, Donna cannot be asked, and it's just the idea of Donna. Some kind of like mental image that now dictates your action. Ooh, that's mean. Constitution, what else we got here? Uh, tell him to trust you. The silent monks aren't people anymore, they're puppets. Well, uh, they definitely are, and they're somewhat silent, but, uh... Yeah, this is just the thing. If they are turned to, uh, puppets, and they are so broken, right? Uh, then can they actually be fixed? As an example, you have a car, and, uh, the motor got, like, taken out of it. You have to put the motor back in, and then you have to connect, well... You have to put everything back together the way it was before, but uh, the person is so complex that putting everything back together is somewhat difficult. If they can be fixed, then they will not be the same people as before. They will actually be new people, like kind of like children, uh, and then they grow up, get new memories and so on and so forth. Hmm, memory persuasion, what else we got them? Uh, tell them of the silent monks you've met on the, your travels. Putting them down is a merciful act. Yeah, um, hmm. None of that <laughs> is good. All of the persuasions, not good. Uh, the whole Donna debacle is emotionally taxing. That's definitely not nice. Uh, putting them down is mercifully. That's basically the same thing as with the puppets. Um, what mercy is or what mercy is not doesn't matter. Really. It's only your own action that counts. Uh, okay, just because intelligence is our highest attribute, that's why we're going for that. You, you're right. Here, take the key. We'll, we'll leave you to it. I don't want to see Donna like that again. You'll remember her as she was, Jad. The real her. Paladin William nods his thanks to you, and with a last sorrow-filled glance at the house, Paladin Jad turns to follow his companion away. But, uh, fine. Fine. Uh, can we, like, I don't know. Oh. Bollocks. Come on, 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 come on. Bollocks! Come on! Come on, 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 I want the book! Ah, Ah, did you? This is just stupid. There's a book that he has that I want. Ah. Just impossible. Anyway. Thank goodness we have the running thing. But it's still, uh... Not possible to do anything else other than that. Now, open sesame. What do we got in here? We got like four 
thing is silent monks, silent monks, silent monks, silent monks. Which of them is Donna? Spirit of Convoy Price and Lind. Oh! Oh. How did they even, I mean, live in here? The Lumpen Silent Monk stands like a pillar of decaying flesh. So still it seems he is not even breathing. Hmm, draw up closer to investigate. Is he even breathing? All of a sudden, like a bellows, he exhales a fetid gust right into your face. No! The stench of rot shrouds you, coating you in a way you fear will never truly be washed away. Okay. Um, it's less into him releasing his organs and his life onto the floor. Ugh. Okay, what else we got? Uh, Emaciated of body and spirit, this silent monk stands straighter than the others. The remnants of military bearing clear in her posture. This must be Donna, the one spoken of by the paladins guarding the door. Hmm, this is no life killer. Well, okay, tell her that Judd remembers her fondly. She gives no indication at all that she has heard you, save for a single tear dripping from one eye. Hmm. This dwarven monk hangs his head, as if looking down at his feet. A wretched gurgling noise issues from him. Yeah, reach out and uh, lift his chin to look into his face. Staring down into his face, you realize you were staring into mutilation. He has no eyes, his empty sockets crawling with blood maggots. The gurgling sound comes from his stitched mouth, though no meaning can be understood. Mm. The silent monk looks like she was only recently converted. Her face was clearly beautiful once, and the eyes looking at you are not yet the full fuligen in black of other silent monks you have seen. One of her hands trembles. Twitching, it reaches out to you. Okay, let's see. Her hand is cold and smooth, like that of a porcelain doll. Jerkily, as if unused to movement, she strokes your hand gently and looks into your eyes. Her lips part, and her mouth moves. Did she whisper, save me? Or... Slay me. Or did you only hear what you wanted to hear in the whispers of the wind? Boah, come on. Okay, for now, all you can do in that direction is leave her be. Slipping your hand free from hers, <sighs> you back away and leave her standing there. Her arm remains outstretched, stroking, as if you were still right there beside her. Ah, this is so mean. Ah, oh, this is so mean. This is horrifying. Okay. Let's see. Let's talk to the parents before we loot anything. May Gareth always choose the right path. Oh, what happened? Nothing we didn't see coming. We always knew Gareth was fated for greatness. As a boy, he'd leap through the fields with wooden sword in hand, slaying imaginary demons, protecting us from whatever evil he would dream up. We also knew that good men make enemies. We knew evil would come, and so it did. Not as a demon or as a witch, but as a man Gareth once knew as a friend. Jonathan. Ah, okay. He watched eagerly as those shambling husks descended. It seemed like a game to him. Like theatre. We would never blame Gareth. The righteous always pay a price. May the seven will it. He will always be the hero we know him to be. Mm, bow your head. You never saw this tetrai coming. We always want to believe in each other. It's what separates us from the void. It's what makes our existence worthwhile. It's what we do next that defines us. We can respond with treachery. Or we can rise above. Hmm. Yeah, you'll do your best to put Gareth on the right path. I did, I think. I trust that you will. Hmm. Note that Arya's level of destruction. Surely the monks did not do all of that. Gareth did his duty. We felt it was only right that we did ours. The farm was always a safe space for sorcerers needing refuge. They deserved a haven. And so we gave them one. Our guests were usually frightened. Shy. Grateful. They never used their source. So the Void Woken never came. Hmm. The last one, though, she wasn't like the others. A lizard named Hanag. We housed her and fed her. Robes like a wizard's, voice like a queen's. Void Woken appeared before long, 
and paladins after that. She clearly drew the Magister's attentions. Our fates were written. Hmm. Accuse them of being reckless. Well, they put the region in danger. Yeah, we are empathy. Surely the sorcerer meant no harm. We do not know the sorcerer. Ah, but sorcerers do have a tendency of attracting magisters. Excuse them of being that close. They put the region... Well, hmm. Let's hope for number two. I never thought she meant to do us wrong. I don't blame her for fleeing to the Cloisterwood. Mm -mm. I worry for her. Cloisterwood. Now we know more. What about this dude? May Gareth always choose the right... May Gareth all... Okay, you cannot talk to both of them. Just one of them all the time. Ah, what are we going to do with those magisters now? Ah, uh, with those silent monks. We could try to bless them at least. Let's see if that works. Doesn't seem to work on this dude. And let's see. The silent monk stands with one arm outstretched, stroking the air in front of her. Bah, this is so mean, so absolutely mean. Where's my... There. So I can get the rest of buff. The silent monk stands <sighs> with one arm outstretched, stroking the air in front of her. The thing is... Is there a way to save them, yes or no? Probably not. Uh, then you just let them stay here... Forever, pretty much, until you find a cure for them. Uh, and that's the weird thing. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What about the magisters? What about the magisters? Ah, this is so weird. Ah. Hmm. Wait, you could kill Jonathan? Where is this Jonathan? Um. Hmm. What about the other thingy? It's kind of can be started either the Dine of Driftwood. Yes, inside the burning house with some dead silent monks nearby. Exactly. Or later in the front of a farmhouse at Paradise Dines. For the first branch option of the quest, you must encounter Gareth at the burning house prior to visiting Paladin's Dance. Else you will automatically go down the second branch. Hmm. If you begin the quest inside the burning house, you will find White Magister Jonathan knocked out by Gathered. He will explain how he formerly knew that. Nah, this is not it. Hmm. Once inside, speak with Gareth and he will. Uh, no, this is not it. I want to know about those Magisters. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> that is weird. That is really weird. What's the quest called? What's this called? Garrus Family Farm. Yeah. Garrus Family Farm. Garrus Family Farm. Garrus Family Farm. Uh, important NPCs. Garrus Parents. Yes. Burying the past objectives deal with... Oh, burying the past. Yes. That's the one. Burying the past. Bury, 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 bury. Bury, 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 Um. Why can I not find that? That's weird. It's already closed. You convince Gareth not to seek revenge. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that. Um. Hmm. That's weird. Oh, that is so weird. Ah, uh, monks. Gareth says, yeah. Is there a way to save them? Yes or no? I probably don't think so. Ah, it's in the father until some jackass matches are good to them. Hmm. Calls you a... <laughs> wow. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. 
possible to save his parents? Nah. Uh, I tell you that Jonathan was the one who killed him. Hmm. What? If you tell Gareth to kill him, you can avoid his parents. But how? Interesting though. Very, 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 very interesting. I think we have uh, found a branch of all of that where Gareth... Uh, hmm. Definitely uh, ended up this way. Because uh, there's, there seems to be a way to save the parents if you uh, do this quest in a different manner. But we found tragedy all the way. Okay. The silent monk stands with one arm outstretched, stroking the air in front of her. So, let's her just do that. squeeze shut, and her whole body trembles, but she puts up no resistance as you kill her. 25 experience. Sways, and he does not resist in the least, merely slumps to the ground with one final gurgle. She stands right where you left her. You get the distinct feeling that you could stand here for a century, and her tears flow along with her blood. Yet, even in the moment of death, she does not break her silence. <laughs> Solid and immobile, the silent monk abides. Hmm. He looks through your eyes with seeming disinterest, as the life ebbs from his body, drop by drop, until he is gone, and the flesh that housed him slumps to the ground. The thing is, it's only 25 experience, which is definitely not good. Uh, we got tons of letters. Tons. One. What about this one? A little bit of gold. Alright, time to loot the house. Okay, we got ourselves a little bit of logs. More logs and wood chips. Uh, the sigil's pretty good. Scares with strength again. And the knife that scares with thinness again, but we don't need that. Arc City Volume 5. Don't know if I have had something like that before. Hey! All over the floor. <laughs> Somehow the word spillage always makes me chuckle a bit. So, what do we got here? Uh, Son Against Father. We got this one. Oh, teddy bear. And a toy shield. Mmm, scares with an Could we? make a really good uh, character that scales with like minimal weaponry like this. That would be quite funny. Oh. Yeah, look at that. There's a spell there. That was actually a spell there. So, what do we got? A spinning wheel. Nah, maybe not. Sheep shears. Hmm. Scales with thinness. Okay. On the origins of Lucian. Got this one. Broken loot. Hmm. What's that? A uh, fishing pole? Basket? Ooh, more daggers and stuff. Can we... Uh, it's something on that desk. Something that I cannot target. Uh, there's some kind of branch thingy up here. What else we got? There's nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Ah, another chest. Oh, valuables. Hey, there's something else there. Another container, mirror, and what's this? Broken bottle. I mean, we could maybe utilize the broken bottles uh, and turn them into, like, throw balls and so on. Sharp glass is somewhat damaging, of course. Too bad about the sign and monks, though. Okay, uh, righty, so what do we got? Uh, we got some interesting letters. Let's read this one. Maisie, I've been stationed with the most amazing guy, Jad, is his name. He's just perfect, everything I've ever hoped for. We are on a mission now to negotiate with some magisters regarding their views on sorcerers. You know me, it boils me blood to argue for our basic rights with those tyrants. Jad and I had a long conversation about it the other night, and we are like two peas in a pod with our views. I finally found the perfect person. I'll be sending this letter after our sortie and will write another one. If, when, I have more news to share about Jad. Until then, Donna. Aww. 
<laughs> oh, that's just me. Okay, that one goes to the beast. Goes to the beast. Uh, that one can be sold. City guide. The stick and peppy guide recommends visiting a number of Ark's landmarks, including its famed cathedral, especially on Lucian's Day, the city's busiest holiday. It also makes a cautionary statement not to attempt a challenge called the Path of Blood and to ask Aru, keepers of Lucian's script, about the story of the trial. Right, watermelon we're gonna keep, and uh, it's gonna be placed somewhere else. Dwarven dagger. Cool one, pretty decent damage. Um, but definitely something uh, to move somewhere else at a later point. I already have fishing rod, so I don't need another one. Broken loot, sadly, broken. Uh, this stuff goes into. This always switches. Do we have the lightning thing in there? No, not anymore. Son against father, that one can be identified. There we go. That one goes to the beasts. Sellable. Sellable. Uh, high tier blank water skill book. Whoa. Interesting. So do I move this to Fane or do I? Yeah, this is for the beast. Origin of Lucian. There was a great need then. Unfathomable force of darkness. Forces of great seven to themselves. Yeah, this is something that I've read before. Son against father. Same thing. And what about this one? Sneaking! Hey! Uh, nice one. Decent, decent resistances. Uh, not necessarily on this one because we need fevery bonuses and bartering bonuses. And, uh, well, yeah, it's a nice one though. The crit chance is pretty sweet. Mm, but I think I could actually sell that. Alrighty. What about that letter? Yeah, the bomber thing. Absolutely no value. Maybe I can uh, give this to Gareth and uh, solve the situation a little bit. Still, still not a nice way uh, of ending that. Oh! What's this guy doing here? This magister didn't die by a sword anyway. Some things are foot here. Void Roken! The sorcerer has conjured Void Roken! Uh, form up! Don't let them over the bridge! The spectral magister raises his sword and shield against an unseen Void Woken foe. Hmm. Alright, so they are Void Woken. Ooh, Venom Wing Void Woken. Of course they are resistant to poison. Ah, how I despise poison resistance. Ah, come on. It's like choosing your first Pokemon, right? Uh, and then there's... What was his name? Gary. Uh, well, actually, it was always some kind of, like, curse name that you gave them. <laughs> uh, because you couldn't just stand this dude. Anyway. Ooh, there's something to dig out. Anyway. It's like with the Pokemons. You choose... Uh, grass type Pokemon, what do they choose? Fire. What happens? You get your ass kicked. Uh, what happens then? You choose like water, they choose uh, green stuff. What happens? Maybe you can actually win. <laughs> uh, and then what's next? Uh, you choose fire, then they choose water. What ends up happening? You get your ass kicked. So, actually your best bet would be uh, to use the tortoise. Uh, I don't know what the English name is. Shiggy, I think. So... Uh, didn't I just pick... Ah, yeah, the haste skill. The haste skill. Not necessary. But yeah, all of the skills and all of the bonuses and whatnot. Um, really, 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 really good. If you intend to use them out of combat and not inside combat. Wait. Now, something on that right side here. Uh, let's put a one marker on that. That's explored. How do you... Like, there doesn't seem to be a way across. Like, you can go past here, you can go to the right. But you have to probably teleport or maybe jump across, use a vine or whatever. Um, in order to get to these locations. Oh! Yeah, look at that. That's an abandoned chest. How do we get that? 
Right. Uh, I'm probably gonna... Okay, that's not working. Um, so, is there a way to maybe look through that building at one point? Maybe over here. Yes, it works. Okay. Let's take this dude. Teleport him in there. Come on, get up. Hey, we got good stuff. And back up we go. So, now where's the thing that we got? Uh, some gold and the granny. Ah, oh, really necessary though. Good, so we got this building now. How do we get to the other side? Can't reach. Is there a way to jump down? Oh, wait. Everything, everything is very dark all of a sudden. The elements have made it impossible to make out the name upon this grave marker. Hmm. I actually thought that there's a way to climb across. Could it be that you have to teleport? Oh, look at that. The rest of the house. This environment is very, 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 very weird. Okay. I'm gonna teleport over. I think there's no other way around. Uh, you have to use teleport. Whatever. Uh, I'm going to teleport over, but I'm going to do this in the next episode. Until then, like and subscribe as usual, and uh, ta-ta.